Hey everybody, Photo Joseph here, and I wanted to make sure that you were aware that in the midst of all these big updates for the Lumix S1 and S1R and GH5 and GH5S and G9, there were also some other minor updates released for some other Lumix and pocket cameras. So I wanted to make sure that you knew about these. Let's take a look at what was released. If you go to the update page, which I will of course link to down below, you'll see that there was an update for the GX80-85. This is actually a bug fix. If we look at the information page in here, you'll see that it says there were cases where the image stabilizer stopped operating after adjusting the white balance in the creative video mode. This bug has been fixed. So that is a bug fix. And then on these other cameras, including the GF10, GX880, GF9, GX800, and GX850, there is a small feature added to these where, as the description says, exposure compensation display settings has been added to the custom menu. What this appears to mean, and I don't have any of these cameras to verify it, but it does appear to mean that you now have the ability to adjust the exposure compensation using the cursor buttons, the up and down buttons on your camera. If you have any of the compact cameras, you'll see that same exposure compensation feature added to the LX10, LX15, TZ200, 202, 220, the ZS200, ZS220, as well as the TZ90, 91, 92, 93, and ZS70. So some minor updates added to a bunch of these cameras, including a bug fix or two. So be sure to update those if you have that gear. Also, it's a good idea to make sure that your lenses are all up to date. If we go back up to the Micro Four Thirds slash Lens tab and you scroll down, you'll see in here a series of all the lenses that have been updated. Nothing in here has the new label, so there's nothing that's been updated this month, but it's always a good idea to check the lenses that you have and make sure they are up to date. Just attach the lens to your camera, go into that, firmware information or version info setting on the camera, and it'll tell you the version of the software that is on both the camera and on the lens. Once you've checked that lens version number, you can compare it to what's on this list here, and you'll know if you're up to date or not. As always, thanks for tuning in, and for all your Lumix updates, be sure you subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.